So this is control deck version two. So um, uh, yeah, so I've moved it over from being on a uh, Makey Makey now to being on a Pro Micro, so uh, an Arduino. Um, the advantage of doing this is that, well, you'll see in a minute, I've got more buttons for one. I could have a lot more than this, um, but also, well, let me just run through them first and show how they work. So still got here, main cam is gonna come out. Obviously this is OBS, what you're seeing at the moment, but it would be the same. This would be the zoom camera is what's coming out of OBS. So yeah, so we've got the same as before. We've got overhead, um, which is this camera here. It's just a webcam or an extension running along there. So we've got overhead. Um, I've actually got visualizer to do something else at the moment. Normally I would have a visualizer here set up, but uh, someone borrowed it off me yesterday and their needs were more important than mine. So, um, so actually what I've got now is slides running off here with a video in the corner. And then actually screen I've got set to slides with no video in the corner so if my video is in the way of something that's important then i can turn that on or off uh, with this one i've then got area cam one so that's this camera here um so that's recording a space over there at the moment and obviously that uh, then shows up on here mm -hmm. um so that camera is there on area cam one got area cam two um which is this one here just pointing down this way, so we've got a yeah, area cam two comes up over there. Um, then we've got a couple more things for obviously doing a presentation. Then um, I've just got a, an information screen, so if I just wanted to post like contact details and links and stuff, then I can just press that and it displays a static image um, to everyone. And then my absolute favorite waiting screen, if for some reason I need to put everyone on pause for a minute, like something's broken or um, I'm just waiting for something and I can press that one. It comes with the elevator music when you press it as well, which is kind of cool. So and we can press back onto those ones. And they're just set up as, I don't know if you'll see this well from where, from just from my phone like this. So, ah, no, don't exit. Um, settings. So inside the hotkeys here, what I've done this time, so that there's no overlap. So when we used the Makey Makey for this before, like when you like one of them's like space bar and the right key and stuff. If you're trying to run slides, that's not cool because that's going to keep advancing your slides and moving them on. Um, so not ideal. So what these are actually set to are like function keys that are just not on normal computers. So actually, I've got them set to like F17 through 23 or something, which actually do exist as function keys uh, that the computer understands, but most keyboards don't have them. So it's never gonna be um, interfering with anything going on. So these are all basically, if you look there, so uh, main cam is F23 um, on the keyboard. So when you press that, that's what it uh, thinks it does. So I've put together just uh, a little bit of a rough video while I was making this. Um, so I'll put that next so that you can see um, how it goes together with the Pro Micro and copying over the code and stuff to make it work. All right, so we're gonna be upgrading the um, Makey Makey driven. Uh, so this was the previous, the Zoom uh, multi-cam setup using a cardboard box and Makey Makey. So I'm actually gonna upgrade this to um, use a, an Arduino Pro Micro. Um, the reason for doing this and why I would want it on something like this is that when you're using a Makey Makey, you're uh, limited to the key inputs to obviously what the Makey Makey does, up, down, left, right, space bar, click, and a few on the back. Um, but those controls are often needed uh, inside other programs. So if you find yourself pressing space bar, to do something that might say you were showing a slide deck that would actually advance your slides at the same time, uh, which is not gonna be ideal. So what we can do with this is that we can actually turn this into um, a, a keyboard of sorts, a little like the Makey Makey, but um, for this one, we can actually choose what those keys do. So we'll set them to something obscure that no other program could possibly use um, so that uh, it doesn't interfere with anything else. So, I've just laser cut, um, literally just laser cut, that's why the glue's still wet, just on the inside, but um, just a, a little box here, little hold eight um, arcade buttons, so that's cool. And a base, which we'll move out of the way. 
So first job really is going to be to attach on some wires onto the Pro Micro. Um, I'm going to solder on uh, eight different pins on here and ground um, which is then going to connect up to all of these. So um, you won't be able to see ever so closely on here on the Pro Micro but um, all the pins are numbered and obviously whatever you use is kind of up to you as long as you then define that in the program afterwards as to which pins are going where. Uh, so I think I will use 6, 7, 8, 9 and 15, 14, 16 and 10 bizarrely um, on this side because those are kind of uh, out of the way of the guff at the other end. So. Uh, I guess that's going to be the first job then, it's just going to be to, oh, here we go, just going to be to solder those pieces on. These pieces now, obviously, we're going to attach into uh, here. The USB, actually, while well, the soldering irons here, the USB ports on these are notoriously fragile um, and they tend to break off if there's any kind of movement on the cable that's plugged into them. So we'll brace this one a little bit with the cable, but I think I will just put a dab of solder on each side. Um, just to strengthen up those joints there and there, just so if it uh, gives us any more strength on that. Okay, so the Pro Micro is going to go in, uh, I guess, mounted to this mount it to this wall here um, we've got this input here for the hole for the cable to go in here and then we can kind of brace the cable down to the wall as well and um, just try and keep everything um, from getting pulled just warm up the glue gun Normally I might think of leaving all this to last to actually secure it down, but I really want to make sure there's no sort of strain on this from the wires um, when it's all connected together, so I'll stick this up first. And right down to the cable as well, hold that in place. around the cable just to secure it. As I say, I really don't want the USB port to pull off this thing. Which does happen often. Okay. So we leave that saddling. So um, nice and straightforward first obviously is to connect these to the different places. Now um, there shouldn't be any it really doesn't matter where I place these because in OBS what I will do when I actually set up the scenes, I will just press the button so I won't need to know which one's which. So that's straightforward now, all we need to do is just create a loop around all of the um, ground on here, so we'll do that and then connect those together. Together, so we'll just do one into the next, I guess. I don't think I need these wires to be this long.
so for the most part we're looking good everything looks all right on there right let's uh flip over head over to the computer and see if we can get this to work okay so we're going to use a sketch or adapt a sketch from um, here, so from sconfig.com. Uh, this was a similar project actually, it's an Arduino deck um, using, uh, using a Pro Micro. Yeah, using a Pro Micro as well. So the same way of doing this. And you can download the sketch from here. It actually gives a good um, description of what's going on here and which pins are being used and what they're being mapped to on here. So we can just adjust this a little bit um, to see, I mean, you could just use the sketch as is, but what we did, I didn't use um, pins two through five, I believe. Check, really. Yep. Yep. So there's a setup for 12 buttons, I believe. Um, so I've only used eight. So I'll ditch those. And then with that in mind, we can ditch all of the controls for pins. Here we go. All right, so we can ditch. So we've got two, three, four, five. And then we can go from there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, okay. So, all right. So we go from here, so these are going to be set up for F17, F18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now, no keyboards generally uh, have. I think it's explained a little on the, um, the deck page, on this page here, why they did that. So looking at a keyboard like this, where is it? Here. So this sort of old, old school keyboard has um, F keys up to 24 on it. Um, so basically what we're using is those F keys that are never used on a normal keyboard. So we're using, um, yeah, so ours will be set up for F16, was that the first one? F17 through F24. Um, and yeah, so each of those pins when pressed will obviously um, give one of those F keys to the computer and that's what we're gonna set in OBS. So what we need to do is to send this over to the um, Pro Micro, and then hopefully it'll start to think it's a very odd keyboard. So, um, Perfect. So, okay. So we've now got an odd keyboard that records uh, that um, works as keys F17 through F24. Very handy. Um, so that's great. So then in OBS, then we're then going to set this up um, with those different keys as the different scene changes uh, within that. So we'll come back when we've got some cameras set up. So then finally we're going to connect it to um, OBS and all of our cameras in. So obviously your setup with cameras is whatever your setup with cameras is. Uh, I mean here we've got a lot but um, entirely up to you. So basically in OBS, um, depends if you know OBS well, so you create a scene and then that scene has that camera set up in it. So um, for example here, so main camera. Um, I just click plus, so I call, I make a scene called main cam, then I add, a I press the plus here, and all this is is capturing USB video. So that's what this one is called because it goes through this USB connector here. Um, if I go to like overhead camera, that one is Logitech C920, which is this one up here. Um, and you just add them all as like a separate scene then here, so the area cams here. These are more of the Logitech webcams. So I mean, you don't need a fancy um, SLR camera, whatever you're doing, you can just do a whole lot with webcams um, here. Then other ones that are here, so my screen, so that's um, 
window capture. So it's actually capturing this Chrome window here. Um, so you just press plus and window capture and add that one in. You can do whole display capture if you like as well. Um, what else we got? Then we got screen with cam. So I also look, you can also see the cameras added there as well and just shrunk down in the corner. Um, that works then. The, these last two, so info screen is just an image. So you just hit plus and then image. Waiting is an image plus uh, an MP3 file to play at the same time. So we set all of those up. And then to configure those to work with our little box, then we go to settings down here. And then just hotkeys. If you scroll down, you'll then see all of your scenes that you've created. So area cam one. And then what I do, let me get rid of that and just show you how I do it. Uh, sorry, scrap. So area cam one. So we just press the area cam one button and inputs F19. Yeah, just in there. So um, like the same. Area cam two. Okay, and because the keyboard thinks it's those F keys, well, the box thinks it's those F keys, then that's what it'll input. So when you've got all your hotkeys set up, then we can then just, don't need to save the changes now, I've already done it. So then we can just flip through them. So main cam, overhead, what would be visualizer, but I've got it set up as screen share with camera, screen share without camera, area cam one, over there. area cam two, this one pointing behind us, uh, info screen, waiting screen, back to the main cam. So we can just basically just flip between any scenes we want there in the box. And how this then works with Zoom, so inside ABS, we start the virtual camera here. Okay, so virtual camera is now started. So I don't close ABS, but I can just minimize it. And then inside Zoom, if I fire up a new meeting, hey look, it already knows. So the camera that is set up is this one, ABS virtual camera. And that's then the camera I'm using in Zoom. And there's me in my camera there. So yeah, so now I'm inside Zoom and the same thing just works in here. And it just displays as my Zoom camera when I press these. For microphones, I actually don't generally set up much in the way of mics in OBS. I just obviously then just set in Zoom whichever microphone I want to use, um, which for me is this uh, USB audio one because that's a wireless USB mic, but I mean, whatever microphone you're using, use your laptop mic, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's the basics really. And then obviously up and running and stick it to its base then and, uh, and kind of be happy. Hope that's helpful.